Hi everyone, it's Travis with Coyote Moon here today for another tutorial video. Uh, today I'm going to be showcasing how to add an embed code uh, or in Squarespace parlance an embed block which essentially allows you to add external code to your website. Um, things like videos, Facebook posts, things of that nature. Anything where you're pulling in external code into a Squarespace web page. So what I'm going to showcase is a side-by-side -side image with an embed block. In this case, it's going to be pulling data from a third-party software uh, and displaying classes uh, and events. So classes and events on the right and a nice image on the left. So it's going to kind of be this nice contrast. Um, one of the things to highlight with the embed block is that oftentimes when you add it, um, there's extra spacing either above or below and or um, things just are formatted a little wonky. So I wanted to create this video today to um, kind of walk through together how to combat some of those spacing issues with the embed block. Okay, let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my image block on the left hand side. Basically, the image block is going to comprise a full half of my web page. So all the way to the extreme edge, uh, full bleed on the left, left hand uh, most portion. And then on the right hand most portion, I'm actually going to full bleed out this embed block, which is going to pull data from a third party software and display classes and events. So let's jump right in. So the first thing that we want to do is add the image block. And to do that in edit mode, uh, we're going to hover over our first section here on our page and we're going to click the add block section. Now in the add block section, um, you have tons of different options to choose from. In this case, the image block, since it's so highly and regularly used for Squarespace customers, it is basically in the first position, but you can type anything in here, as you can see in the search bar and quickly pull up whatever block you need. So hover over image and that adds your image block. Now, what we're going to do next is, if you'll see here, um, on the edge of the container of the image block, there's these little resize handles. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to first start and resize that handle by pulling this to the further lefternmost portion of the page. Now you have these margins that are set that are essentially guardrails. If we click G, we can actually pull up the grid. G stands for grid. Fluid Engine is built on a grid-based system. So hit G on a Mac computer, hit it again, it disappears, pull it up. So again, pull this to the farthermost left-hand side, and then pull the other resize handle all the way over to the middle. Now pull this all the way to the bottom. Okay, you guys with me? Awesome. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our image. So we're gonna upload an image directly from our library. So let's just find an image that's gonna be a vertical since this is gonna be comprised mostly of a vertical orientation. And I'm gonna click this one. So this is a rock climbing gym website and I am actually, so when you initially upload the image, it's going to give the regular orientation, but you have the option to fill. So we're gonna go in to the image block after we've uploaded it, hover over it, click once, click the pencil icon to edit, under content and the design tab, instead of fit, select fill. Beautiful. Now next, we're just gonna add a little title. Come climb with us. Okay, since by default, it adds it as a paragraph two, I am gonna hover over the text that I just added, highlight it, and select heading one. Beautiful. We can add a little flair by adding some color to the first two words to call them out a little bit more. Next, we are going to be adding the embed block. So on the right hand side, we're going to hover over the area, click add block. And again, like I mentioned in the search bar, just go ahead and type in embed. 
Perfect. Now, just like anything, we're going to want to drag and drop this embed block into that space. Now, since we want this embed block to be full bleed on either edge of the page, we're going to want to do the same thing that we did for our image block. Click on the resize handle, drag it all the way to the full bleed right hand portion of the page and release. And let's go ahead and drag this all the way down as well. Awesome. So I have the embed block code snippet copied. And all I need to do now is paste it into the editor of the code block or the embed block. So hover over the embed block, click the pencil icon. And if you have a link, you can add the link here. For example, if you have a link to a YouTube video, you could post that there or a Vimeo video, you can post that there. But in this case, I have a code snippet. So select code snippet. After that, the embed data field appears. Click into that, release your code. If you wanna add a custom featured image, um, you can do so as well. And that's only available for embedded videos. So if you have a video pulled from a third party uh, video hosting uh, software like YouTube, you can add a featured image there. Okay. so. Um, the other thing to keep in mind with the embed block is that by default, everything aligns vertically for most any block that you add to Squarespace. So let's go ahead and center that. Okay. Now what we're going to want to do is click save. Um, one thing to keep in mind about embed blocks is that you're not able to preview them until you save your changes, click exit, and then refresh the page. Um, this is just due to the nature of third-party code being pulled in from uh, multiple different sources into a Squarespace web page. So if we go ahead and click exit, we should now be able to see that page populate, right? So it looks pretty good. Um, and we can see that there's a, a little bit of extra space here at the bottom of this page. This isn't actually something that you can control. Um, unless you have access to the backend code where that uh, software is being pulled from. So for example, if you had access to manipulate um, spacing, sizing, fonts, colors, all that good stuff from Rock Gym Pro, then you would want to go log into your Rock Gym Pro account and manipulate that CSS or whatever that code is to make it look um, a little more manageable on your web page. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I think um, you guys get the gist. So I hope that was really helpful in understanding how embed blocks work. Again, it's essentially just external code added to any given web page. Um, and then the last piece of information that I'll leave you with, and I've, I've shared this in another video, but if we go back into edit mode and We go ahead and take a look at the actual section. Again, Squarespace web pages are built up by sections. If we click into edit section, we're able to manipulate the gap uh, between the rows on the vertical and horizontal plane. So to do that, um, and I've also undone the fill screen so the fill screen adds padding and margins on the bottom and top, but if you deselect it, um, it allows you to basically run that flush up against the section on the top and bottom if you'd like. Uh, but I'm going to take this one step further because there's always a tiny little gap. As you can see, this is the true middle line of our page. And on the left hand side, what we can see is a little dotted line that's uh, indicating that, but there's a little gap and a little space. And so I want to press that flush against the dead middle. And to do that, I hover over the gap section. I click these little three dots and on the vertical plane, I'm actually going to drag that 11 gap all the way down to zero. And you can actually see that in real time, if you look closely, that it is eliminating that gap entirely. Awesome. So now we have a flush image, 
a flush embed script pulling uh, information from a third party uh, rock climbing gym software to allow my customers to book classes and events. And we are all set, folks. Um, I'm going to take one step further and just showcase how this is going to look for you with uh, the next section down the page. So if we just want to duplicate this section, I've already duplicated it. So it's going to appear in my save sections field. And I'm going to select the exact same layout and click save and click exit. And now you're going to see, oops, only one embed booking widgets allowed per page. <laughs> well, this is another uh, good exercise in the embed block. Um, so essentially what this error is telling us is that you cannot have multiple uh, embed codes on any one given page. So let's just add another image block to show what I'm trying to showcase here. But basically, I'm just trying to show you guys how uh, these images are flush all against one another now that we have um, decreased that, that horizontal gap to zero. So let's just select any old image, click Save. And we're going to do the same thing here. And there you have it. Everything is nice and flush. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching in today. Uh, again, this is Travis with Coyote Moon. I run a Squarespace web design studio helping SMBs, entrepreneurs, e-commerce merchants to just have a better online presence, drive more sales, drive more calls, drive more bookings, and really have a user experience that is going to leave your customers smiling. So if you guys want to chat about anything, I would love to hop on a call. CoyoteMoonCreative.com is my portfolio website, and I can be reached at Travis at CoyoteMoon.com. Thanks.